So today we're going to be doing some myofascial release. We'll be using a bowl. I have my double bowl, which if you have two bowls, put it in a sock. And I've also got a block, which we might use when we do some work on our neck. But today is mainly going to be on our lower body, our glute muscles. When our glutes are tight, we often uh, have issues with our knees and ankles and hips. So we'll see if we can get in and release a few of those trigger points, a few of those bits of muscle tightness and soreness. Let's start as we always do, arms down by the side, big sigh, and then take a breath, lift up, reach up. At the top of the breath, turning palms. And this is this symbolic gesture of always with the next breath, inviting in learning, new beginnings, new ideas, new habits. And when we turn the hands, just letting go of our habit energy, whatever we know for sure. One more time, opening, allowing, accepting, and then letting go of anything fixed, an idea, an identity, Let's maybe roll our shoulders and we might just get straight into it. Let's bring feet together and we'll just see if we can let our body rock to one side and then the other. Just explore that whole glute area, three big muscles that sort of stack on top of each other. If you can let go of your need to be upright. Big sigh. Do one more each side. And then we'll find our ball and we're just going to sit on it. So just lift up, lift your sit bone up on one side and just Maybe above the sit bone or behind the sit bone, just roll the ball there. I'm just going to sit directly on it. This might feel a little uncomfortable. Just and then roll it around the sit bone. Just explore the whole region of your ischial tuberosity. That's the technical name for it. And you might find a spot that's really tight or tense and just maybe drop into that spot. What can we release today? And then we'll take a few more circles all the way around the sit bone. You should be able to make the whole 360 degrees. If you find another spot of tension, just sigh out, sink the knee down a little deeper if you like. And then we'll keep going for another moment. Let's drop down. And we're just going to switch straight to the other side. So we're looking for just around our sit bone sitting directly on top of the ball. So we're leaning a bit to one side. Maybe noticing this side feels a little different than the other. Keep your weight heavy. Let your shoulders sink down. Just notice if you're holding your breath or holding any tension in your upper body. When you find that spot of tightness, sink down. And then maybe another little row. If you're ready, we're going to come down onto our elbows. Let's go back to the first side. Just prop on your elbow. Now we're looking a little higher up, sort of just behind the hip bone, still in the fleshy part of your butt cheek. 
and just roll onto the ball. So now you might like to press through the feet and just really explore all that area between the hip bone and the sit bone. It's a big muscle, biggest muscle in the whole body, the glute med. So just have a really juicy explore. Sighing out whenever you need to, sinking down and then keeping on moving. Now, if you want to go deeper, you might drop your knee down. And if you want to go even deeper, you might explore more your periformer muscle that is for your rotation of the hip. You might like to even take a figure four and just really deepen in a little bit, maybe. Keep exploring, keep breathing. Wherever you find that tightness of tension, we're aiming to flood our body with new energy. These trigger points are just places where our chi, our energy gets stuck. How do we start to flow again? Through release. All right, let's try the other side. Roll up. You might like to just open the legs. Notice one side will feel a bit different to the other. Good to do some little A-B testing when you do my fascial release. Let's roll onto the ball on this side now. That same fleshy part between the hip bone and the sit bone. Keep exploring whenever you find something tight, just sink down. Yes, it will feel strong sensation. Just breathe into it. Lean onto your elbow, press into the feet. Maybe you need to explore a little wider, a little higher. And if you want to roll right onto the outside of the muscle, you might take the figure four again, maybe. Keep exploring. What can I learn about my body on this day? Maybe one more little roll around the glute med. So often when glute med is tight, puts pressure on the femur bone, it can lead to knee pain, hip pain. And when you're ready, let's come back up. We'll press back up. And just for a moment, Let's grab our feet back in, just like we did before. Just roll, notice the feeling. And we're going to move down our body a little bit. Let's start with, actually let's start with the feet and then we'll work our way back up. So we're just gonna put our foot, our ball underneath the foot. And you might even lift your hips up. Just roll the ball under the sole of the foot, right from the balls of the foot down to the heel. You can be on your elbows if there's any pressure on your wrist as well. You can even do this standing up if you like, but I think it's fine to be like this. And then we'll switch over other foot. Let's start in the same spot, close to the ball of the foot, and then just roll up and down. Bit of pressure. And from here, we're going to drop our sit bones down again, extend our leg long, and bring the foot right under the sort of mango meat of the back of your leg, your, your calf muscle. 
So you might start just above the tendon there. And just roll, press into the uh, wrists and the palms. Just roll your body up and down. You're very welcome to be on your elbows if your wrists are struggling. Roll the body forward and back, and you're just exploring the whole of that calf muscle, bladder meridian. When you find a point of tension, you might like to sink down. Maybe pause for a few seconds. And then maybe roll a little more. And when you're ready, press back up. We'll just switch straight to the other side. Starting just above the ankle, all along that whole big muscle. Our soleus and our gastrocnemius. We're going to take our ball now and roll onto one side, onto one elbow, and on the outside of your shin. Perineals, let's just roll down all the way on the outside, maybe pausing if you need to. And then keep on moving. And then we'll come back up and try that on the other side as well. This is right along the outside of your shin, between your tibia, your shin bone, and your fibula. I'd like to press into the elbow, lift the body, go a little deeper, why not? And then we'll come back up. Maybe just opening the knee side to side. Notice the feeling. And we'll work underneath our legs now. So we're going to bring the leg right or the ball right under the back of the leg. And then you'll have to press through, lift the sit bones up, roll down. And you might like to Use a block or something to get a little bit more high here to see how you go. Keep exploring with your body. Legs heavy. Any tension, just sink into it. And then we'll come back other side with hamstrings in the back of our legs. And you might need that height again. Use a block if you have one. You can use a book if you have something like that. And then we'll do one more leg muscle. Let's do the outside of our legs, our IT band. So we have to come down on our elbow again. Roll onto the ball. This is quite a strong sensation, but just go with it. Lift up your hip. Roll along. This femur bone in the body is the longest bone in the whole body. Let the ball just roll alongside it. 
Let your body be heavy. Maybe take a little rest and then we'll swap to the other side. Let's all right, let's come up and you might like to just extend the body so back is heavy. And we'll just take our legs up straight up for a moment. Just notice the feeling. Probably something has shifted. Make sure your spine is heavy. Doesn't, not, don't need to straighten the legs. And just take a breath here. And we might like to just take one hand on each knee and just open. Both directions. All right, let's do a little bit of work on our back. We'll bring, I'm going to use my double ball, but you might just use your single ball, one side at a time. Just bring it right in between the shoulder blades. So find your two shoulder blades. You can turn your hands out if you really want to get a sense of where they are. And bring your ball in between a shoulder blade and the spine. So doesn't matter if you have a double ball or not, just find the one side and you might like to just let your head be heavy. Our bone is heavy. Take a few breaths here. And if you just have the one ball, switch to the other side. Move the ball in between the spine and the shoulder blade, and then just sink down. Take a few breaths. Uh, rhomboids, a lot of tension often here. Am I going to move? the ball down now. Let's come right to the base of the tailbone. So see if you can find the point where your spine meets your pelvic bone. So the kind of point where your spine kind of locks into the pelvic girdle. And just place the ball on one side of the spine, not directly on the bone. Deep sigh. Take three breaths here. And then if you just have one ball swap to the other side, just let the body be heavy. We're going to do the same thing. Come back to the first spot. And this time we're going to cross the leg and place the foot over your knee. And then just let your body be heavy. You might like to just roll a little bit and experience it's kind of like rolling and just a little bit of a twist. We're getting now into the point of our body where our sacred iliac joints are. They don't move too much. They're not too plastic. And often get very tight, very sore. 
And then when you're ready, we'll come onto the other side, just on the side of the spine, right at the top. And then figure four, maybe just exploring. Don't worry too much about finding exactly the spot. Just listen to your body and notice the feeling in your body. Your body will tell you whether it's the right spot or not. And we'll take that out. Let's bring our feet together, knees wide, and draw your heels up as high as they want to go. And just take a little sigh, just let your knees be heavy. And we might very slowly just take the heels away from the sit bones, keeping that sort of diamond shape with heavy knees. Take them as far away as they want to go. And then we'll draw them back in. And one more time. You really can let the knees be heavy. And coming back. All right, we'll draw the knees into the chest, a little wobble side to side. We might do a little bit of work on our neck now. So if you do have a block or a thick book, you might like to bring it underneath. We'll take our ball and we'll put it right in the middle of the neck. So just let your head be really heavy. And I'm gonna get you to see if you can tuck your chin into your chest a little bit. Take a few breaths here. Feel the spine really heavy. Take a few breaths. And then you might like to just a little bit turn on the neck side to side. All right, we're going to see if we can come into the side, that indent on the side of the neck now, our thing she. So just on one side, turn your chin, let your head be heavy. You might explore a little bit, just turning small movements, nothing too big. Let the head be really heavy on the ball. And then we'll bring the Fall over to the other side, just in that end there on the side of the neck, right underneath the occipital bone. Let the head be heavy. And if you feel a real sense of something being blocked there, just big sigh, sinking down. And we'll slowly take it out. Let's do a couple more for the top of our body. We're gonna do, if you trace up from your armpit, just place the ball there, sort of right behind the armpit at the top, but below the shoulder joint. And then we're just gonna extend our arm wide. So this is our terrace minor muscle, the one we use for throwing a ball. We're extending our arm out. And just see if you can explore with your arm, just maybe taking the hand above the head and then taking the elbow to the rib. Any direction that works for you, you might even like to rotate your arm, palm up, palm down. And then we'll do the same on the other side, bring the ball around and come up from the armpit just below the shoulder joint, extend the arm wide and take the hand above the head or elbow to rib, any direction you like. 
you might even lift your body over the ball. Maybe one more time. Now we'll slowly take the ball out. So we might just do one more. We're going to do a big roll along the whole of the back. So if you have a double ball, you're welcome to use a double ball. I just do one side at a time. So you might need to prop yourself up on your elbows or your arms, whatever works for you. Lift your tailbone up. Bring the ball in between spine and shoulders and then all the way down, of course. And just let your body be heavy wherever it feels tight or tense, sink down. Take a breath. And then you might prop yourself up, roll a little more. Not directly on the spine, just either side. Whenever you need that sense of compression, just sink down. You might take your head the whole way down, listening to the body. And make sure you do both sides, of course. You might like to lift your arms over your head. You might like to take a figure four again. Try not to get strangled by your hoodie if you have one on. All right, whenever you're ready, you might like to take the ball out. Let's do a couple of bridges just to really loosen to our spine. We'll start with the arms down by the side of the body, pressing into the feet, rolling the spine up, and then rolling it back down. Maybe noticing a little more freedom. Maybe, maybe not. Draw the thighs in, draw the sit bones in. Just listen to your breath. You might tuck your chin, feel the back of your head heavy. And we'll do two more. Let's draw our knees into the chest. You might like to take a little wobble side to side. Now we're gonna do some rock and rolls to come up. You're very welcome just to push yourself to sit up if you like. If you'd like to join me, let's lift the hips off the floor, roll them over, roll the knees over onto your shoulders, and then just use a bit of momentum to Massage the spine as you roll forward and back. You might like to just pause on the shoulders. And whenever you're ready, you can just come up to sit. To just roll the shoulders, just notice how your body is feeling. Maybe something has shifted, something has moved. We'll bring our hands together. Heart center, gesture of humility and thanks. And of course, bowing to each other.